Hey guys, it's Chris Kitty, and I just wanted to make a short little update video for you all. I've had some changes kind of happen in my life, and I want to keep you guys in the loop. So, the first good thing that happened to me is that I am finally driving. I know it took me longer than most people, but it's great to have a license. The feeling of freedom is just something that... I didn't know what it would feel like until it actually happened to me. I was like, oh, you know, I'll get my license whenever, but... Honestly, driving is one of the most freeing feelings that there is, and I just, I love it, and I'm so happy that I was able to get that license. <laughs> so that's my first good thing that happened to me. And the second good thing that happened to me is my amazing boudoir photo shoot with Jasmine Denise Photography. I will link her below. She is amazing, guys. You need to check out her work, and she also has a Patreon. So scuttle on over there, and please pledge and become a patron. I am plugging her because she is so incredible. She is literally the sweetest. She helped me out so much with posing. She was just the kindest and most patient person because honestly, I get really nervous when it comes to shoots and she really helped me feel at ease and she helped me figure out kind of what sort of mood I wanted to convey with each of my outfits and the poses and she just, guys, guys, she's fantastic. I, I love you, Jasmine, if you're watching, I love you so much and I had an amazing shoot with you and I am eternally grateful and I want to shoot again like now. <laughs> Alright, so the next awesome thing that happened to me is Zenkai Con! Guys, I go every year to Zenkai Con and I love it so much. It is so much fun. I, it's my home con, my local con, and every single year, I swear, something happens to make it more and more fun. I was really nervous about debuting my bunny suit Widowmaker because one, I'd never made a bunny suit before. Two, body paint is terrifying, but I managed to do it. I mixed two different Snazaroo colors and I think I got somewhat of a Widowmaker color. I think I'm actually gonna go with more of a light purple next time just to kind of have a more subtle hue to my skin because I was quite blue, but you know what? I was pretty proud for my first attempt. I don't think I did too bad. Um, and then Lily, oh my goodness guys, Finishing Lily was incredible. I mean, I had Nevi, I had my bag, I looked wicked cute, and everyone was so kind at the con. Like, every couple feet, people stopped me for pictures, and they were so sweet, and they were all complimenting my costume and Nevi, and it was just really amazing. I felt super proud of all the work that I put in for that convention, and... I had a blast. And of course, I saw Cosplay Burlesque, amazing show every single year, and I went to the How To Burlesque panel. Always fun. It's always cool to learn the ins and outs of what goes on behind the curtain with burlesque and sort of more about the scene and the culture and what the roots were. So it was really nice to kind of get a little education into where burlesque came from. So um, I also have, on the flip side, some like sort of bittersweet news. Um, unfortunately, I am not with Game Ranks anymore, but we left on um, amicable terms, so I am completely cool with the staff there. I'm gonna miss everybody, but I will now be working at thegamer.com, which is a really super cool website that does um, lists about um, video games, pop culture, cosplay, lots of really, really cool stuff. I definitely suggest that you check us out. Um, my first article was just published, and it's about Meowth. Um, I always thought Meowth was really cool. He was the one Pokemon I connected with as a kid. Because, you know, I was kind of an outcast. I was weird. I never really found a place where I belonged. And I see a lot of myself in Meowth. And it was very cool to kind of go behind the scenes, watch some episodes of Pokemon again, and sort of delve back into his pretty dark backstory. So that was really neat to kind of explore um, more of Pokemon that I hadn't seen since I was a kid. So it was really nice to kind of see how I view it as an adult now versus how I thought of it when I watched it then. So, um, future plans. Um, I don't know what my next convention is going to be, but I do know that I will be opening a Patreon. Um, I'm not sure when, but I have ideas for tiers. Um, I'm kind of, kind of plotting and planning with a couple people, trying to, uh, see, you know, what works best, what needs improvement, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I hope my Patreon will be launched at least at the beginning of June. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into a Patreon, and of course I'm going to take this with the utmost seriousness. I'm going to be so fastidious, and I will try to be as on it as I can. And I'm obviously going to provide you with the best quality work that I possibly can, including uh, behind-the-scenes photos, probably. Um, a lot of vlogs, maybe some blooper reels. Blooper reels are really fun. I haven't 
had any definite ideas for tiers, but I am starting to kind of put things together about how I want to run my Patreon, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I also hope to do more modeling shoots, like probably alternative modeling, maybe some more lingerie, boudoir modeling, because my first shoot just went so incredibly well, I'm kind of addicted and I want to do more, so I just, oh my gosh, that shoot was so amazing, and the pictures are gorgeous. Jasmine is just incredible. Like, she is probably one of the most incredible photographers I have ever had the honor of working with, so she will literally blow you away with what she's done. And she's also a model herself, so she's just killing it in every single pose that she does. It's absolutely wonderful, and it was truly a treat to work with her. Um, I think that's about it for now. Um, I'm not sure uh, what my next video is going to be, but if you guys have suggestions, please leave them below. If you have questions, leave them below. If you have um, suggestions for Patreon tiers, leave them below. I'd like to take more of a creative approach with my Patreon, so I'm still, like I said, tossing up ideas. I just wanted to kind of make this video and kind of pop back onto YouTube, say, hey, here's where I've been, here's where I hope to go, and I'm really enjoying working at The Gamer so far. Um, everyone is so sweet, and they've been so kind and welcoming to me. It's been really a pleasure to start working with them, and I can't wait to see where things take me next. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and click that little bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, like I said before, uh, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I mean, I know I take breaks and it's awful, but I always come back because you guys are amazing. And I will see you guys next time I turn the camera on. Bye!